right. Tonight we'll be making um, simple chicken patties is what I'm what I call it. Uh, you can make I guess them into burgers or into nuggets or chicken fingers. You're gonna want to start off with getting your chicken. All right. I happen to have two breasts um, without bone, without skin. Skin is completely fine. Um, what I'm going to do is just take it and stick it in, in some water real quick. Okay. Now I'm going to use a, I guess to say I should bring this over to here, the camera. And uh, I'm just gonna take my chicken out. All right. I guess I should do it with a little bit of frost in the sink. It's a mess. Alright, and put in some water. Alright. Okay. Now my chicken breasts are okay in water. You can you can see so they were frozen. Now they're in water. Now, I don't want to thaw them completely. I just want to get them, I don't want to use the word slimy, but very jiggly on the very outside, but still firm to be easy to cut. Um, I don't want stuff too frozen or you'll see it won't come together when I need it to. Anyways, okay, so now we got this ready. We're gonna get ourselves a, a can of beans, um, any kind of bean you want, and half or whole onion, all right. Alright, so I happen to have a, an onion in the fridge already from the previous, uh, from previously cooking. Alright, and then a can I here, I got a bean medley just to show it. Don't make a difference in the bean you have. Um, romaine beans are, uh, I don't know if you can see it with the camera. Um, those would be romaine beans right there, the ones that are uh, 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 right here. Um, these are very good and you got uh, chickadee peas um, uh, uh, kidney beans um, uh, I think those are uh, um, I forget black black eyed something I believe um, what else can I see in here and I see another bean back here it could be a, a pinto or something I mean I'm not too sure oh hang on here we go we got kidney beans chickadee peas, romaine beans, black eyed peas, okay, yep, so I got them, anyways, uh, um, my favorite to use are romaine beans, and kidney beans are very good to use, um, white kidney beans are awesome to use, because they're harder to see with what we're going to do, anyways, we're going to want to get a little pot, anyways, Put a little pot here, and we are going to want. Alright. Should, I guess, to show you real quick here. Um, bring it back over all to this side. Um, over just enough. Alright. Okay, we're gonna get a strainer here. Anyways, flip the lid to the beans. The water flowing. Yeah, yeah, I know you like your beans. All right. All right, now you rinse your beans. Yeah. I'm going to throw them in, and I'm just going to get them under water here, just to say I'm sitting them in water. All right, let me get this on max right now, just to get these boiling really, really fast. Get yourself a cutting board, All right, back side for the onions. All right yourself your onion all right just that aside all 
to Okay, now um, I guess I'm just missing a bit of the onion. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, dee dee dee. There, just a bit of the onion. Uh, at least half an onion is what you're going to want in here. Um, anyway, you can just cut your onion. Now here you want to make it literally uh, almost as small as you can almost cut your onion. So I'm just going to cut little tiny slices here. Right, and then I'm gonna cross cut very small again. All right. All right. So we got um, I guess to show fairly uh small pieces here again Nice. Now, I like onion, so it made no difference to put a little extra in here. Anyways, I'm just going to do this. Alright. Now, I'm going to use keep the back side here. Alrighty. I guess I should get in here more. I'm going to get to the other side here. Alrighty, get yourself um, a big spoon. Yeah, I got myself a, that's a bigger than normal, that's quite bigger than a tablespoon. Alright, mix this up in here. You can already see the steam stir. Steam is fully going here. Uh, I think the camera, maybe catch the steam, I don't know, put my hand in front of it. It's nice and steamy. All right, so anyways, the chicken is over here. Um, I'm going to just dump the water out of the chicken. All right. Now, i get this out of here too. All right, so now we're going to uh, essentially I cut the chicken. Um, what I'm going to do is actually cut very thin slices. See, it's frozen just enough. So you can get a fairly, uh, fairly thin slice out of it. Almost as, as thin as you can possibly make them. But they're not always easily. All right. Or if you go, uh, well, I guess so I'll continue showing you in this whole entire one. I'll show you two different ways to cut. So you're going to just get little slices and all right. And we'll flip this one, get him cut this way. Here. All right. All right. So we got one well, a little bit, you know. Okay. So now, uh, chicken fat or anything like that, you don't have to worry about. Um, you can't obviously have the bone. If you happen to have the skin on, it will make it a lot tastier. Okay. So now I'm just going to cut this into little slices. Again. Okay, so 
Let me try to pull one out. Okay, well they're frozen together because they're. Anyways, uh, so you got just a little tiny piece here. Okay, so I'll do again these ones. So I guess you can do the part here. Okay. So now if you go across them all now. Now, a lot of people could eat one breast of chicken once it gets cooked easily, I should mention. kind of see here how small this is these are just tiny little cubes here's about the biggest one right now right so now I'm just gonna squish it up into a little tiny line and then just start chopping them back like this pull some in This is uh, fairly hacked up. Okay, I'm going to just clear this side of the board. Nice little line. Stir my beans and onions over here real quick. opposite way. Okay, I'm going to go like that. Alright, then you can take each piece and cut them in half. Or threes. You can grab a few of them at a time if you can. You can just cut them as small as you can almost right away if it's easier for you and if you're fast easy enough with the knife. 
little bigger chunks and then just to hack it all up is usually easy for most people. You can clearly see once we hacked up the chicken, um, you know, we're right up to there in the bowl. So it looks like there's a lot, lot there, but it's also because there's a lot of air spaces in here. Anyways, now we're going to come back over to here. And I could almost say there's almost no juice left in here. So I'm just going to shut it off. Alright. Make sure it's nice and flat. Try to keep things level in there so they cook evenly. Just put that in the lid. All right, now we're gonna season this up. Oh, I guess I should we come back a little over here now. We're gonna wanna season this up. Um, so we're gonna get an egg in here, extra large. Extra large egg. I'm actually going to do is just take my little bowl that I had my onion in the fridge in. Yeah. Just going to, here we go. Nice egg, put her in. All right, you could put two eggs if you want in there. Um, the beans are going to add more protein. You could do not use beans if you want. You could use maybe um, some celery and peas. Uh, carrots are very delicious too as a mixture. It's just you don't want to use too much of anything. You want to definitely be using the majority chicken. Anyways, okay. Um, I'm also going to want a tablespoon, uh, 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 two tablespoons of cornmeal in here. This is going to help give it a little bit of, once cornmeal gets wet, it gets a little sticky. Alright. Just wipe that off real quick. You're going to want a da -dum -bum -bum, tablespoon of parsley. Okay. Keep it if you want. Alright, tablespoon of garlic powder, wherever you got your, oh, I'm almost out of that, wherever you got your parsley, put in your garlic powder. Alright, you're going to want a teaspoon of salt, Oop, a little more there, okay, teaspoon of salt. And you're going to want a teaspoon of pepper. Alright. Now I'm going to heat mine a little. I like my pepper. Okay. Here. Okay. Now we're going to want a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda is going to help it uh, 
get a little airy and bubble up a little be more like you know a really nice um, moist texture it's gonna allow a lot of moisture to stay there all right and then we want a teaspoon of soy sauce all right now a teaspoon of soy sauce all right now the warmth this is gonna really help not to say start cook but activate the chicken to get a little slimy and sticky so what I'm gonna do is mash all this up right now in a second okay now if I was to take some of this and show it close to the camera um, you see color wise can't really tell the difference than a chicken than chicken so this is why once once chicken gets cooked it's gonna I don't know if you can almost tell there's it's almost like a little not pink but you know it's not white white so it kind of looks like you got a really nice moist meat there so anyways um like I say uh once you add this nice warm to the cold the two are gonna go good together Gonna rinse that off right away so it doesn't stick the masher. Gonna clean the masher right away. All right. Now I'm just gonna flip this real quick in here. Get it all. Get all the meat seasoned and coated right away. See how this is essentially went into nice uh, form. Uh, you know, it's really nice and sticky. It shows. Okay, and that's what we're going for. Okay. Now. breadcrumbs I should have uh, pointed this out earlier um, uh, if you ever have old bread uh, you know it's went stale that's perfect stuff to kind of keep um, I'll just bring out some of my bread right now you can see the bottom here I have crumbs okay now uh, I also have cornmeal a little bit of cornmeal mixed in there too um, I really really like uh, cornmeal in the, to add to the to the crisp but it doesn't take a lot because most of it will just end up falling off now if you uh, get yourself a cloth just a, a regular clean cloth like so and you uh, place your bread on it like so okay so you got all your morsels here of bread take your cloth cover it back up all right now you grab your rolling pin Just 
had a, my bread's a little more stiff. That's my bread here. My bread has more, uh, a lot more uh, denseness to it. All right. So now you just take your container, roll up your, your cloth, turn it in. And you get most of your crumbs in there. All right. Now, for what's left, go like that. All right. Now, you get some bigger pieces in there. Okay. Just take your thing back out. Shake it a bit. And all the big pieces will all come to the top. Throw them back in. All right. More shake. I don't know. I don't think you can see it. All right. All right. So now you can put it back. All right. It's freshly toasted, and it's uh, store-bought bread, not my bread, it's got like I say, more denseness to it. Uh, it's You can just roll the rolling pin over it, and it usually does a fine job. Mine, you just need to give a little oomph to, if you will. All right, set that aside. There. And over there. All right, now I got breadcrumbs here, lots. I am actually going to put, a lot of people what they'll do is uh, coat their breadcrumbs, coat their stuff with breadcrumbs, okay? But I put, just gonna mix this up at the back of my spoon a little again to crush the, what chicken is there. You'll notice the chicken chunks have started to not dissolve like that, but they just have really gotten mixed well. Now, just put in your breadcrumbs. All right, so I'm gonna put in a, there's one cup right there. Mix it in now. All right. And another half a cup. Perfect amount. Okay, now you're going to see this has gotten somewhat thick. now. You're going to want yourself a big pan. Sure. Let's see, can I? Okay, get yourself a big pan. You can start it on max, but it's going to be coming down real fast. Okay. You want to put yourself some oil in the bottom of this pan. Okay. And you want a, uh, oh, half a centimeter, uh, not not quite half a centimeter, sorry, uh, but you know, you want to, what you're going to want is essentially once you put the, the food in there, about the oil to raise up about halfway up the sides of 
your the patties that I'll be making. The patties will be about uh, about this thick, so you want about that much oil when the oil comes up. Now, like I say, you'll see the oil start to whatever you call it. The, yeah, you'll see it has like wiggly lines. Will start. You'll know the oil is getting hot. Anyways, I'm already gonna turn it down to about just above a uh, 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 middle to to just above middle. Never too hot with your oil here. Okay. Now what you're also gonna want is another spoon. I'm just gonna move some of this stuff now, and I'm gonna keep the oil handy. All right. another big spoon a regular tablespoon and if you got a really really big fork uh, it'll help with your with the flipping and whatnot all right so the oil is ready you're also going to want um, something to put your patties as they get cooked into um, preferably metal glass something not plastic or anything um, this a little more of a turn here. Crush with the back of your spoon. It's real well. Now something uh, you may want to try to do, or not try, you should do, is just cook yourself up a little patty and see how you like your seasoning. Um, I'm not a person that usually puts too much salt, so people usually put more salt in the food uh, than I use. Um, it's also a good way to test your oil. Um, now what I'm going to do is actually put everything I got to one side of the bowl the best I can, like that. I'm going to use the other side of the bowl for the areas of my patties. I'm going to form them with a the spoon real fast. Okay, so you're looking for um, uh, at least two, um, say about a golf ball and a half, I would say. And I can usually fit three or four in the pan, depending on how big I make them. Because again, you can make burgers, nuggets, you can make them into strips here. Um, uh, when I put them in, I'm going to start crushing them right away with the other spoon, scoop them off and start to flatten them in there to, to the desired shape and size and thickness. So, and I got to do three of them real fast, or even four if you got the time. So I'm just going to test it. Uh, not quite hot enough yet, almost there. Again, you can just put it, I put it between six and seven, but that's my, all right. Nice. Okay, so like I said, just go like that. Move it around the way I want. All right, grab another one. I try to smooth them out a little on the top too, not leave cracks or holes in them, um, so they don't get as much oil in them. By putting the breadcrumbs in them, they're not going to absorb as much oil either. Get your fork started under. Nice. And you'll 
see the color start to climb on the sides. Um, don't know. I don't know if I can get over. Um, maybe I can get over here. The cord. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So now, uh, at one point you're going to notice they're firm enough that they start to hold, and that means they've got color underneath. So I just got her up to seven there. Okay, now I'm going to start to form my other ones here real quick. So now, I'm actually gonna, they're just about done. I'm going to make them do a 360, or a, sorry, 180 here in the pan. just to ensure that they cook um, evenly all through there. All right, now I'm going to flip them. I don't know if you could see the color. And as, I, as soon as I flip them, I'm going to give it a squish. Okay. Um, I know I'll be able to show you the color in a bit. I'm trying not to let it splash as I flip. I don't want to say they're overcooked, but they're going to be the ones I eat tonight. The first, you know, they always say throwaways are the first, but what happens is, is my first will be always the most cooked, and then the other ones are all going to be put in the freezer for myself. So I always end up eating these. I always end up eating some. Uh, bum, 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 uh. Might as well grab a little fork to eat. And a little plate. Alright, let's take a little peek here. Yeah, okay, getting nice. Okay, I'm gonna get a nice 180. Nice 180. Nice 180. Alrighty, um, I like ketchup with these, well, you know, just our barbecue sauce is real good too. Um, you can make, like I say, a chicken burger, chicken nuggets, if you make them smaller, they either, they cook a lot quicker too, but uh, they take more work though, it's a lot, a lot more work. Um, you could have also just taken what I made the first before putting the breadcrumbs and taken it and um, put a breadcrumb in a pan like this and put little globs in and then flip the globs around in there and then put them in the frying pan. But then what I find happens is you get loads and loads of crumbs in your cooking oil. Your cooking oil starts to turn color real fast because the crumbs can, you can never get all the crumbs out and it starts burning. Also the chicken or, or the bread being, or the crumbs being in let everything just stay even that more moist. All right, these are done. I'm just going to move this close. I don't trail. Okay, I'm going to make sure I get all the rest I can out. All right, next. Okay, and number three. 
All right. Okay, so now, I'm take my first one, right over there, start crushing it right away. I use the tip of the, the, the edge of the spoon to crush it into this, the shape I want right away, which is always like a burger shape. And then I use and smooth it out, pulling both directions at the same time. And it kind of just spins as I do it. Um, like the whole, the whole patty turns as I do it. Okay, last in. Okay, so like again, I just use the tip of the spoon like that, get the shape I'm looking for. It puts divots and dents in it, but that's when I turn the spoon and spreader. All right. Now, because I up the oil. Uh, temperature a bit. I'm going to go to the first one. Give it a 180. Nice. A little flattening over there more. The next one a 180. Make sure she's nice and flat. Give the last one a 180. Now if you get a little crumb that did fall off, just take it and throw it on the top and shove it down into the food. Okay. I'm going to look at my last one here. And she's got beautiful color. I know my first one's done. Let's give them a flip. Excellent. Squeeze them down a little. You'll hear all the air coming out. Flip the next one. I don't know if you can see it from there. Very gold. And the last. Nice. Now I'll be, uh, when I'm done this, be making french fries with the oil. Um, I'm just cooking this up for the video. I don't need to be making french fries with it. Some people might have french fries, you know, already in the freezer, just thrown in the oven. But, so, okay, anyway, I'm looking at Shape up the next few right now. Okay, there we go. And look at the bottom here. Yeah, 180. Next one, 180. And this one, a 180. A little squeeze. Okay, now I'm going to take over here that I already made for my little sample video. Cool down some more. Alright, so I'm gonna cut her. Ooh, it's steamy hot. Hmm. Anyways, um you see, oh yeah, a meaty there. comes apart just like just like a burger or chicken burger would mm. Mm. Wow. problem is how fast you can eat them mm. don't want to forget these oh if you put that on a bun piece of lettuce and a little mayo nobody would even know that wasn't anything else but chicken in there. Oh, that's good. That's some good stuff. All right. I'm going to put in my little balls here. Wash hands with the spoons. Mm. Oh, 
also good when guests come around because you can really you can take a two chicken breasts and feed especially if you're going to put a side dish like I I will later here she's already a little squeezing over there. Alright, next one. Her little squeezing. Her little turn. A little squeezing. Hopefully I got time for a few more bites. Mm. It's almost like you're just eating a meat patty and that's a Dangerously deceitful to tell the brain because it thinks it's just, you know, just chicken. Okay, you give them a little flip here. Nice. Give him a little flip. Nice. And I try to flip so it turns away from me and doesn't the oil doesn't won't come towards me. Hmm. All right. The cats hear it. Mm. Mm. Okay, a little 180. 180 here. 180 there. I'll squeeze. 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 Time to eat this. Drop that one in. Good thing I got a shirt on. Could have burned. And 
that is your simple. I didn't need, need any more oil. Those are your simple. Very nice. Alright. Show you a little lighter one, maybe better in that camera. Alright, see, just beautiful. You know, really it's nice and thick if you see the thickness, you know. It's as big as any quarter pounder. Alright. And it made, made 12 patties. Alright. These around here. Right. Well, hope you enjoyed. And, uh, okay. I'll just shut this down for now chopping up some potatoes to make some french fries as soon as the camera's off. Start back up the oil. Alright, All right, well you can see right there. Nice. Minus the one I ate. Uh, you feed 12 burgers to anybody with two chicken breasts. So, you know, and like I say, those are uh, those are some big, you know, as big as any regular bun. And, you know, quite thick. I hope people like them. I think they're delicious. I'm going to eat uh, two more personally with some french fries. Um, and I'm not putting buns on them tonight because uh, they're fresh and they're even better than. Alright, I hope you guys like them.